Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I want to take a moment to let you know that I have a 100 subscriber giveaway. I will link above here. You can take a look at that. See if you're interested in winning any of the products and perhaps enter yourself. Um, I wanted to, uh, so to the video, now in this video I wanted to talk about the Grown Alchemist products. I got these from FabFitFun and when I was looking at the edit sales and the add-ons, I really wanted to see um, some specific reviews about the products um, that were available and some of them were uh, Grown Alchemists and I found a lot of videos online that were unboxings and uh, first impressions but I didn't find a lot of actual reviews reviews so I wanted to do specifically Grown Alchemists. I'll do other videos on each product, um, each line of products that I tried. This one's on Grown Alchemist. I've tried four things by them. I like the the line of products a lot. So I'm going to um, go through and tell you about each one. So first I'm going to talk about this one. All of their packaging is quite simple. It's an Australian based company and um, you know they're really doing a good job marketing themselves by partnering with companies like FabFitFun to get themselves out there. They um, boast that they're botanical beauty. They don't use any of the harsh chemicals and um, Let's see, uh, Grown Alchemist products, sorry about that, so they don't use any of the harsh chemicals, uh, and it says here, Grown Alchemist products are free from carcinogenic and toxic ingredients. This is a vegan-friendly company, stop animal testing. So that really, uh, that I like a lot. Um, so this is the gel mask. It is age repair gel mask, pomegranate extract, and peptide complex. And I really like this. It um, looks like this. Uh, it's creamy looking, but it, it like it, it's called gel, and it looks much more gel like. I'm gonna have to just wipe that right here. Um, it smells. Uh, it smells like. All of their products have a very unique, uh, they say botanical, and so I can't get away from the word botanical, but um, a very natural kind of smell. This one says it's pomegranate. I would say it just kind of smells um, very like fresh, like a garden, like a fresh smelling garden scent, um, like a good one. Like you walk into maybe a flower shop and you would smell all the greenery and that kind of smell. Um, so it's a very, um, in, in that kind of sense, it's almost like aromatherapy, which a lot of their products just kind of feel like aromatherapy when you're smelling them. So um, I really do like the scent. It's not overwhelming. It's a good scent. And I'm, I'm kind of sensitive to scents. Um, and uh, so when you put it on, it feels like there's a little bit of tingle. It feels very cooling, feels very nice. Uh, and you leave it on for 15 minutes and then you wash it off. And then my skin does feel really moisturized and refreshed after I use it. This I bought in the fall edit sale for $14. And it retails for $59. Would I pursue it and pay $59? Probably not. I probably wouldn't go and pay that. If it were in the edit sale again for $14, I might spring for it. I have a lot of masks. I'm an annual member to FabFitFun, so there are a lot of other masks I like to try. So because of that, I might not. But if I were just looking for a mask and it became available, I, I might get it again. I would might get it as a gift, that's for sure, but I wouldn't I wouldn't pay the full retail. Even though I do really, really like it, it's it's a high end brand, and it, but it's very good. It's very good. So those are my thoughts on that. Um, so I would recommend it if you never tried it, and it comes and you're in FabFitFun. If you can get it for fourteen bucks, I would re recommend that. I would even recommend if you're you're able to and you'd like to try it, paying up to twenty five dollars for it. It's a good mask. I like it a lot. I said that. Okay, so next I want to talk about the moisturizer that I use. They have a few moisturizers. <clears throat> the one that I used is the Age Repair Phytopeptide and White Tea Ac Extract Moisturizer. This one I got in the fall edit sale on FabFitFun. I paid $19 for that, which is a really good price for a moisturizer, um, and it retails for $59. Um, and th I'm talking American dollars. Uh, like I said, they're an Australian company. I like this a lot. It has practically zero scent to it. Um, and then again, it has a very earthy, botanical kind of smell. It just smells like like you like greenery, like you're walking into a 
um, blech, a florist, uh, and it just it just smells it smells good. It smells natural, and uh, again, they boast themselves. Uh, for being natural and vegan and uh, cruelty-free. In fact, it says stop animal testing. Uh, this one says a little bit more. Uh, no sulfates, no petrochemicals, no artificial fragrance. That's that's the thing. You can tell none of the fragrances in any of their products are artificial. They just they smell so natural. Um, and uh, no nitrosamine releasers. I need to do my research. Uh, no DEA, no TEA, no parabens, no paraffins, no synthetic, synthetic colors, <laughs> uh, no glycols. Anyway, so um, everything's just super natural with them. So I like this. The consistency is uh, pretty thick for a moisturizer, and it definitely feels like it's like a good solid layer of moisturizer on my face, and it it wants its time. It takes about up, it, maybe two minutes or so to really feel like it's uh, maybe a few more, maybe maybe up to five minutes to really feel like it's finally sunk in. So it's a it's a really thick um, feeling moisturizer. I feel like it does a really really good job. This uh, nineteen dollars retails for fifty nine. Would I pursue it and pay fifty nine dollars? I, you know, I'm not rolling in money either, so maybe there would be a difference there if I were. It's very, I would pay $19 again for this. I, I would buy it. I was just using an oil of only moisturizer before using this, and I would definitely pick this hands down over that. Um, so if I had a lot of money, I would probably be okay spending the $59 on getting this again. If I were on a budget, which I am kind of on a budget, um, I wouldn't, and I, so therefore I wouldn't pay the $59 to get another one of these. I would probably pay up to 40 So, I, and a lot of people get this stuff and they put them on eBay. So they get it from FabFitFun and they hope to make some money. So check out eBay if you really want to try that one. Um, and then the next thing that I got that I tried, I uh, got this in the winter 2018 add-ons. This is the body cream. This one took me a, about a minute to figure out if I liked the scent. It's mandarin and rosemary. And um, again, smells very natural, very botanical. <laughs> um, and it's very, I can smell the citrusy sweetness. I can't really smell much rosemary hint in it at all, uh, but okay, so that's the smell. I like the smell. I don't love the smell. I like it, uh, but uh, using it, it feels extremely moisturizing. Uh, it was $19. It retails for $67. Would I pay $67 for this? No. I would not. Um, I might not even get it again at $19. There are better body creams out there. The Corez, I use Corez from the add-on sale for the first time. That stuff's incredible. This isn't a Corez review, but that stuff really feels very nice and moisturizing, and my skin feels insanely soft after I use it. That This isn't a Corez review, but that one um, is very thick, so it's definitely a body cream, and you need to know that you're not going to be able to put your clothes on for about five minutes um, until it actually feels like it's kind of really not going to have a residue and, and transfer onto anything else. Okay, so those are those three things. And then the last thing is my favorite, favorite, favorite. And this is the um, Polishing Facial Exfoliant Pink Grapefruit Glucomanon Extract. <laughs> uh, there, there it is. This came in my uh, fall box. Fall box, yeah, my fall 2018 box. I love, 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 love this exfoliant. I have heard some people complain that it smells too strong for them. It does have a sm strong smell. Sorry about that uh, notification sound. It does have a strong smell. Um, it uh, smells a little bit like an expensive incense. Not, not so much, actually. Scratch that. I'm going to say it has a very earthy, uh, woodsy, musty smell, and um, I like it. And it it is it is strong. It is kind of strong. I'm starting to get used to it though, and so I don't smell it as much as I did. But I really like it. I like the smell a lot, and um, it feels. I didn't show you the other um, 
consistencies of those other two products. Anyway, it uh, look I almost don't even want to squirt any out to show you because I love it so much. But it's uh, like that. It looks like the gel mask, but um, it's much creamier. The beads are fine and they feel really good. And what I like about this a lot too is that the cream feels very moisturizing. Before this, I was using a L'Oreal exfoliant. So I think the jump from that to this also makes me just marvel at how amazing this is. Um, and I, so the fact that it feels moisturizing with an exfoliant, which can feel so drying, really makes me happy. And my skin feels really nice and soft after I've used it. So this came in my box. So I didn't pay anything for it other than buying the box and it retails for $67. Would I buy this again? I would probably spring for this again. I I like it that much. I am hoping that maybe it'll show up in another um, edit sale or add on sale. I like it that much. So this one was a big thumbs up for me. Uh, anyway, I hope that that was helpful for you. I bought an eye cream from Grown Alchemist for my brother for uh, Christmas. I will continue to uh, look into their products when they come up on the sales in the future and purchase more. I do like the whole line. I am super curious about everything they have available. Um, so yes, yes. That's my review. Anyway, I hope it was helpful for you in determining whether or not you want to get any of these things or even check out Grown Alchemist in general. Okay, that's all I have for you on Grown, Ever Grown Alchemist. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, have a lovely day. I have product all over my fingers. <laughs>